Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum I hope everyone is in good condition So this is the subtopic for 9.2 Population Ecology from Chapter 9 Ecosystem So in this subtopic, we, we will learn about the population ecology Okay, population ecology is the is a branch of ecology We study the interaction of a population with its surrounding A population is a group of organism in, of the same species living in the same habitat So population distribution show how the organism of the same species are able to spread out in a habitat So what is the factor affecting population distribution of plant and animal? So first untuk for the plant, the picture, water, light, the pH of the soil and the mineral salt content. Why the factor affecting population distribution of animal is the picture, water, breeding site and the last one is food supply. So let's discuss detail about the factor affecting Okay, for temperature The optimum temperature for plant is between 25 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius High temperature can cause enzyme to denature Biochemical processes, plant is disrupted and they stunt the growth of plant Increase the rate of water evaporation by transpiration Slow the rate of photosynthesis Low temperature reduce the activity of enzyme which slow down the biochemical reaction So, uh, untuk suhu, uh, tumbuh-tumbuhan memang uh, berkait rapat dengan suhu kerana suhu mempengaruhi aktiviti enzim. Okay. Jadi, apabila aktiviti enzim, uh, enzim di nature, dia akan mengganggu proses pertumbuhan. Okay. Juga akan meningkatkan uh, kadar sejatan air dan juga dia akan menyebabkan kurangnya kadar fotosintesis. Water. Water is needed for enzyme activity, photosynthesis, transport and support in habitat plant, dry region such as desert and tundra area such as at the poles have low population distribution and also low density of water. Light. Light is very important for the process of photosynthesis in plant. So area which receive little light have a lower number of plant. pH of soil. The pH of soil is important for nutrient absorption by the root. Soil in which the pH is either to acid or to alkali which cause lower absorption nutrient uh, by plant. The growth of plant will be disrupted due to the lack, uh, due to lack of nutrient. And the last one is mineral salt content. Salt content affect the absorption of water to the species by the by the root. High salt content in water will cause the plant to lose water through osmosis. Minerals are needed for the production of protein, enzyme, nucleotide, vitamin, and other compound. As an example, phosphorus is used to form phospholipid in the form of cementrate. So as you as you learn about, uh, about the abiotic component, so this is the abiotic component that affect the distribution such as water. Water, okay, air diperlukan dalam aktiviti enzim, okay, dalam aktiviti fotosintesis, dalam uh, pengangkutan dan juga sokongan dalam pokok-pokok pokok-pokok uh, uh, herba, okay. Uh, jadi kawasan yang kurang air akan jadi kurang populasi untuk Cahaya uh, sudah semestinya cahaya sangat penting untuk tumbuhan kerana cahaya matahari terlibat dalam proses fotosintesis. Jadi kawasan yang kurang cahaya matahari akan menyebabkan kurang uh, pokok. Okay, uh, untuk pH of soil, uh, is, uh, dia sangat penting untuk uh, penyerapan nutrien dalam tanah. Ha, jadi dia akan relate dengan dia akan bersangkut ber, ber uh, menyebab, uh, menyebabkan tanah tan Tanah yang uh, be terlalu berasid ataupun tanah terlalu berakar ni menyebabkan kurangnya uh, penyerapan nutrien. Jadi kawasan-kawasan yang uh, pH yang tidak sesuai menyebabkan uh, terganggu eh, uh, <coughs> kebesaran tumbuhan.
tumbuhan uh, <coughs> Untuk mineral salt uh, Kandungan garam sebenarnya Berpengaruhi uh, Pengambilan uh, Penyerapan air dalam agar. Okay, Bila kandungan garam tinggi Menyebabkan uh, Air akan menghal, uh, me, apa nama, Pokok akan Mengalami kehilangan air Pada prosesis Okay, factor affecting population distribution of the plant, temperature. Area which are exposed to high temperature, which is a habitat, is are less inhibited by the certain animal such as worm and snake. Okay, kawasan yang uh, suhu yang tinggi menyebabkan kurangnya uh, dihuni oleh uh, haiwan. Water, animal are, connect, cause, animal are concentrated in area that have enough water sources for drinking and cooling body okay, kawasan yang banyak air sudah semestinya mempunyai uh, taburan uh, haiwan yang banyak breeding site, a safe or suitable breeding site is needed by animal to raise their offspring okay, kawasan pembiakan yang sesuai uh, menyebabkan uh, haiwan akan banyak membiak di situ and last one is food supply is important for survival because animal are heterotro which depend on plant and other animal for food okay, sudah semestinya kawasan yang mempunyai banyak makanan mempunyai banyak haiwan kerana haiwan adalah mendapat nutrition melalui heterotro so this uh, before we learn about the population ecology and the, how to estimate the organism population size there are three patterns of population distribution which are clam, random and uniform. Clam uh, means uh, organism form separated group. Yeah, this condition caused by an even distribution resource in area. Random organism are distributed in a free pattern. Okay, this distribution involves species that have little interaction among individuals. And uniform organism are distributed all over the inhabited area. This distribution involves species in the which every individual competes for limited resource in an area ok corak populasi ini adalah ada yang berkelompok ada yang secara rawak dan ada secara secara kata ok berkelompok ok menyebabkan ada beberapa kebulan eh, disebabkan mungkin uh, taburan uh, bahan-bahan uh, keperluan yang tak sama okay. kalau random secara rawak ni maksudnya uh, interaksi antara spesies tu agak kurang okay. menyebabkan uh, taburannya agak random kalau uniform iaitu sekata macam ni uh, organism are distributed all over all the bacteria sebab apa distribution ni menjadi Uh, dia melibatkan spesiesnya setiap individu dapat eh, dia compete dia, dia apa nama ni bersaing eh, untuk uh, sumber yang agak limited dekat area kawasan itu ok how to estimate the population size so two important factor that uh, for studying population uh, ecology are population size and population density So, population size is referred to the number of organisms present in a population and population density is the number of individual of a species per unit area of a habitat. So, the population size in an area can be estimated by a random sampling technique when the study area is large and difficult to obtain data. A sample which represent an, uh, the area is taken to give an estimate, estimation and abundance and distribution pattern of the organism inhabit, inhabit the area ok, size populasi ok, adalah bilangan organism eh, bilangan organisma yang ada dalam populasi tu uh, the population density ada kepadatan populasi kepadatan populasi adalah jumlah uh, Organism, jumlah organisma ataupun individu di, di dalam satu spesies tu per unit area ataupun pada satu-satu kawasan dalam habitat tu. So, there are two types. Yeah, two way to uh, estimate the population. First is quadrat sampling technique. 
Kuadrat sampling teknik ni untuk tumbuh-tumbuhan. A quadrat sampling teknik can estimate the population size of the land plant for animal which are inactive or move slowly. So the number of organism is the quadrat area is the sample which represent the whole area of the study. Okay, jadi kita guna quadrat ni untuk menganggar populasi. Okay, jadi kita akan menggunakan quadrat. The data obtained from the quadrat can be used to estimate the population in the areas of study. So, this is the picture of quadrat. This is quadrat. Quadrat is a square frame structure which is made of wood, iron or plastic. Normally, a quadrat is sub subdivided into a few parts of the same size or to estimate the coverage percentage of any species. The size of quadrat depends on the types of and the size organism, the area of study, as well as distribution and density of the plant in study. So, the quadrat ni bentuk macam ni, segi empat. Ada dia diperbuat daripada bingkai yang plastik atau empat PVC. Dan selalunya dia akan dibahagikan kepada beberapa bahagian. Di sini, satu meter kali satu meter dibahagi kepada sepuluh bahagian. Jadi, satu bahagian di mana satu satu bahagian kecil ni adalah satu uh, apa 10 cm apa segi. For example, a meter square quadrat is equal to estimate population of land is cool feet. Okay, jadi quadrat ni boleh digunakan untuk uh, menganggar populasi pokok yang ada pokok-pokok yang ada di kawasan padang sekolah. Okay, this is three uh, three uh, kuantiti uh, yang kita akan study first is frequency frequency is probability to get an individual of any plant species in every quadrat frequency this is the formula of frequency frequency means kekerapan in Malay eh, kekerapan uh, frequency uh, we get the frequency when the number of quadrat containing study species Divide by the number of product used times 100%. Uh, Density is a average number of individual in any species per unit area of study. Density, we get the density when the total number of individual species study in all quadrat divide the number of quadrat used times area of a quadrat. And density means kepadatan. Coverage. Coverage is the uh, is the surface area of the soil which cover by shoot of the plant species. The coverage percentage is the percentage of soil surface cover by the plant. To get we get the cover coverage percentage by area cover by study species in all quadrat divided by number total number of quadrat used times area of quadrat times hundred percent. Okay, let's see the example. So this is the activity in your textbook how to carry out the study uh, estimate population of uh, plant size in the school field. So this is the example of population. Okay, quadrat 1 eh, the area cover is 0 0.01. Okay, quadrat 2, quadrat 3, quadrat 4 and quadrat 10. So calculate the frequency Frequency is the number of quadrat containing study species. So the the number of quadrat containing species which are six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five and six. Kita bilang sahaja quadrat yang mengandungi species iaitu enam. Bahagi dengan total number of quadrat sepuluh. Total number of quadrat sepuluh. Jadi enam bahagi sepuluh darab seratus. Jadi jawapannya enam puluh peratus. Yeah, calculate frequency. We just calculate the number of na the number of quadrat containing species divide by the number of quadrat used times hundred percent. Okay, the second one is calculate density. So this is the uh, data. Okay, quadrat A, J, and then the quadrat size is one meter times one meter. So quadrat A containing fifteen. Quadrat B, 0. Quadrat C, 10. Okay, and then 
how to calculate density? Density is the total number of individual species studied in core quadrat divided by the total number of quadrat used and area of a quadrat. So, we total up the number. Eh, 14, uh, 40 plus 10 plus 18, 22, 12, 16, 13 and 15. And we divide by 10 quadrat used. Okay, the number of quadrat is 10 and the quadrat area. So, the answer is 12 meter square. Okay, this is the example of operation. How to get the percentage coverage. So, in this question, quadrat 1 is 0 0.8, quadrat 2 is 1.2, quadrat 3 is 2.5, quadrat 3, quadrat 4 is 3.5 and quadrat 5 is 4. So, how to calculate? We add, uh, we plus, uh, we add uh, all the number area covered by static species in all quadrat 0 0.8 plus 1.2 plus 2.5 plus 3.5 plus 4.0 divided by total number quadrat we use 5 quadrat and the quadrat area is 2 times 2 meter and times by 100% so we get the answer is 60% so the answer is D. Okay, for the animal. Okay, for the animal, we have capture mark release recapture technique. So this uh, this is the technique can estimate the population size of fox, shark, snail, millipedes, insect, and butterfly, which can move freely in the study area. So first thing is animal under study are captured randomly in the uh, area of study. And natural habitat and then the number of animal capture is recorded and then the animal capture is marked by using nail polish in paint or indian ink and then next the mark area and uh, the mark animals are then released into the same area of study after a certain period of time a second capture is done randomly in the same area of study and then the total number of animal recapture uh, the second times both rima, uh, both mark and unmark is recorded so uh, kat sini ada uh, step uh, apa langkah-langkah macam mana nak buat tangkap tanda lepas tangkap semula eh teknik tangkap lepas tangkap tanda lepas dan tangkap semula pertama and uh, haiwan mestilah tangkap secara uh, secara rawak kemudian haiwan tersebut di uh, dicatatkan berapa bilangan um, haiwan yang ditangkap kemudian haiwan tersebut ditanda selepas ditanda dia dilepaskan uh, ke kawasan yang sama kemudian uh, selepas beberapa uh, jangka masa waktu yang sesuai um, haiwan tersebut ditangkap semula kemudian kira bilangan haiwan yang ditangkap itu Uh, di mana berapa haiwan yang ada bertanda dan berapa haiwan yang tak ditanda. Okey, jadi masukkan dalam formula. This is the formula of population size. P times Q divided R. P is number of animal in first capture times number of animal in second capture divided the number of mark animal in second capture. So this is the question eh, for calculation. Example of calculation. A farmer carries out an experiment to estimate the rat population in the farm. The farmer captured 80 rats and marked the rats before releasing, releasing them. After a week, the farmer catches 60 rats which, uh, uh, of which 6 are marked. What is the estimated rate for rat population in the farm? Okay, population size P times Q times divide R. Uh, Nah, uh, nombor pada tangkapan pertama darab dengan nombor tangkapan kedua Bilangan tangkapan pertama darab bilangan tangkapan kedua Bahagi dengan bilangan yang bertanda pada tangkapan kedua So, kalau kat sini okay, 80 tangkapan pertama darab dengan 60 tangkapan kedua Bahagi dengan 6 yang bertanda pada tangkapan yang kedua 80 darab 6 bahagi dengan 6 dapat 6 So estimation estimate estimation of rat population dekat in the in a farm uh, is about 800 rats.
So this is the uh, experiment in your textbook eh, to carry out the field study to estimate the population size of animal. Okay, that's all. Thank you.